This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Barrier Reef. This design is sponsored by the Beginner Free Motion Quilting Fillers DVD. This DVD features 30 beginner level free motion quilting designs and instructions on how to put all the blocks together into a fun sampler quilt. Learn about this DVD and support the project with your order at daystyledesigns.com. Now let's get back to Barrier Reef. This design is stitched in two parts. The first part is to set a foundational line for your design to be based off of. And in this situation, the foundational line is actually a line of circles. You just simply want to swirl into a circle and then travel stitch around the edge and swirl into the next circle. I find it easier to kind of build off each circle, working the uh, stitching line kind of in a spiral shape. So you can see I kind of swing around in a counterclockwise and then I swing around in a clockwise direction. I find that easier and most fluid movement as I'm quilting, but really experiment with it and play with it and see what works best for you. The biggest thing is you want the circles to connect uh, seamlessly so that you see that they are really stacked up together nicely and you really want to try not to stitch off the line because that can make the circles look kind of messy. Of course if you do stitch off the line don't worry about it. Don't go back and try and rip out those stitches because you can easily cover them up in the second half of the design. I'm just going to finish up this last little row of circles and you know you can take this row of circles anywhere. You could take this straight through the middle of a border section, you could take this through your sashing, uh, through the entire series of a block. It really doesn't matter. This is just the foundation that everything is based on. Now the second part of the design is simply echoing and these are what I call connecting echoes or bouncy echoes. I'm just simply bouncing from the interior of the circle, the area where the circles connect out and around to create the echo. And I'm connecting my line in those areas simply to build up the thread and really make that those areas stand out and show off on the surface of the quilt. This is the what's really going to kind of hide any mistakes. If you did make a mistake when it came to stitching your circles, these bouncy echoes are going to hide most of those mistakes. So you don't have to go back and pick anything out. You can always just simply try and hide it in the layers of thread. Now you can see I've fast forwarded onto the end of this design and you can see how this looks as I've built up these bouncy echoes throughout one side of the quilting space, kind of on the interior of that line of circles, and on the exterior. I've done the same bouncy echoes on both sides. And this makes it a fun design and uh, a really easy design to learn because once you kind of filled in one area, you really should have kind of the basic gist of the design down. And the second side will be a lot easier for you to quilt. This is a very neat design uh, simply because it gives you a lot of areas to stop and think. At any point in time, if you feel like the quilt isn't in the right position, if you feel like you can't really get a good angle, you can't see what you're doing, stop with your needle in the down position when you come into one of those bouncy echoes. Stop right there and think about it. Rotate your quilt. Do whatever you need to do in order to get it working right. Bearing all that in mind, here's what it looks like whenever you finish Barrier Reef. For over 300 videos on free motion quilting, go to daystyledesigns.com.